cannot. Gustavo, you better play this shit. Not, my head cannot comprehend that today is the day I'm gonna watch Last of Us. This is this is absolutely insane. Um, welcome back to a new TV series. One of my favorite things of ev like in all lifetime. This game called The Last of Us has literally been my favorite game since the start. I have absolutely enjoyed story-based games, but when this game came out and the first time that I played it in 2013 um, I genuinely was so astonished as to how storytelling can be really told through video games and The Last of Us really was there in terms of like uh, uh, you know creativity in terms of being so authentic in characters in you know emotions connecting with the characters gameplay like for 2013 and then to the time when it came i was in like i was flabbergasted by how beautifully done this game was you know i have tried so hard so i live in the uk and unfortunately this series comes at around 2 a.m on monday so it's today's monday and I cannot watch it until I finish work. So I can't possibly stay up till 2 a.m. because I have to go into work. And I do, I have my work between 9 to 5 and I come back only by 6. It's 6.20 right now. So I only have to watch it after it's released in the States. And it's so annoying because I cannot literally, it's not that I don't know what's going to happen in the show. But I don't want to see what's the like the specific attention to detail and i've heard that it's so good in terms of attention to detail and those type of spoilers i don't want to know i want to know like being a big massive fan of the game myself i want to see how authentic it is of course this is an adaptation and this is going to be as true as it can to the storyline uh i know that two things that they have changed is that the virus is not transmitted by spores it's through tendrils which is pretty great uh in terms of change of uh, how it's um how the virus spreads that's a big part of the story the second thing is uh this is taking place i believe i guess maybe 2003 if i'm not wrong i hope we see the timeline but uh of course in the game the events of the pandemic or pandemic uh, the virus spreading starts in 2013 October uh, which is crazy so this time around I think it's 2003 so we will see well the jump from then so spoiler alert in terms of anything I like not spoiler alert I know the game like by heart give me a question I will answer it I, that's how confident I am in this game um it's one of my like one of the things that I know in detail like literally from the dialogue to uh side quest dialogue side quest i mean like side character dialogue everything i know everything like i'm not boasting but i absolutely feel, really love this game this game has truly changed my perspective on how important it is to enjoy video games and how important it is to really soak yourself in and that's one of the reasons why i really wanted to be actually part of the team of naughty dog for some like you know being a graphic designer or a video editor or part of the cast like i've always wanted to be something involved in the last of us because of how much i admire the hard work that goes into these games and i'm so excited to see not only bella ramsey from game of thrones but also charming man daddy is a state of mind oh pedro pascal like i cannot wait to see him as joe like i know there's been like a lot of talk talks about how they might not just they they don't look the part they might not sound the part I, like people are very judgmental and me being a fan of the game i will decide like not me i mean i will decide for myself 
what it's like to watch from this perspective and I'm so excited yeah oh, I, um, be ready to see me freak the F out no doubt um, I'm definitely going to cry you best believe that um, anyone who has no idea what this game is about or I mean what this show is about uh, tag along I will if you need any question and answers I will leave an FAQ list for your questions I best believe that's gonna happen if that's a thing and um, yeah just be prepared for me to go full 360 in my emotions it's not it's not even a joke I kid you not this game means the world to me and it means so much that they've done an adaptation on it and I cannot wait to see it so yeah my world is gonna start right now so let's not go any further when you're lost in the darkness look for the freaking light believe in the fireflies oh my god here we go Lord have mercy. And that's your biggest worry? Yes, any kind of virus, but most probably something similar to influenza. Because where from? Through the air. Coughing. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I meant people on planes. Uh, that was something you described in your book. Yes, a new virus in Madagascar, say, could be in Chicago within a matter of weeks. Yeah, just to be clear, you, you do think microorganisms pose a threat? Oh, in the most dire terms. <laughs> Back to you. No. You like saying no? Yes. <laughs> so, fungus. Many species know otherwise because there are some fungi who seek not to kill, but to control. Where do we get LSD from? Where do you get it from? <laughs> it comes from ergot, a fungus. There's a fungus that infects insects, gets inside an ant, for example, travels through its circulatory system to the ant's brain and then floods it with hallucinogens, thus bending the ant's mind to its will. The fungus starts to direct the ant's behavior, telling it where to go, what to do. So it begins to devour its host from within, replacing the ant's flesh with its own. But it doesn't let its victim die, no. It, it keeps its puppet alive by preventing decomposition. Dr. Schoenheist, you're in distress. Fungal infection of this kind is real, but not in humans. What if that were to change? What if... The Nascomycetia, Candida, Ergot, Cordyceps, Aspergillus, any one of them could become capable of burrowing into our brains and taking control, not of millions of us, permanently fixed on one unifying goal, to spread the infection to every last human alive by any means necessary. And there are no treatments for this, no preventatives, I love it. I love it. no cures, they don't exist, it's not even possible to make them. Oh my god, let's go my friends, let's go! I cannot! Gustavo, you better play this shit! Gustavo, you have my heart. So these are the tendrils. <laughs> Soon. He says I'm doing already. <laughs> so Is hard for all the money. And the water man. Hey, he's still alive, you old fucker. Aww, he loves you. He's depending on me. Not the same. I think it's the same. It's definitely the same. I thought we was having pancakes. We'll pick you something up on the road. If we can't frame until we pull, we're not getting paid until we frame. Well, we could bring someone else on and get the job done faster. No, no. I'm not splitting this job. I barely want to split it with you. We could work a double. Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today. Oh no, I'd be done by nine. By nine, right? The job that they talk about in the start. Jakarta. Where is that? Middle East? Yep. Are you serious? Bell. It's definitely a country. Maybe part of Asia? Jakarta isn't a country. Being a part of Asia isn't mutually exclusive with being a country. And in fact, it's the capital of Indonesia. Yeah. Hope for us yet. Your t shirt's inside out. 
shit. He's losing it. I can't stop smiling. I can't stop smiling. I know what she's doing there, babes. I know what she's doing. Music. Nah, give me a break. Music. Goosies. I could come by after school, but just for like a little bit. She'll take what you got. We got a lot of extra here. Y'all want some biscuits? Dad, you love biscuits. Yeah. We got to run, but Sarah will be by later. She'll stay as long as you want. <laughs> Tell you all about Atkins. <laughs> right. I'll let you go. Something that Joel would do. I can tell you how exciting it was listening to that fucking conversation. Put that out. Happy birthday to you. Come by, veteran. Yes, zoom in in that. Off the truck. at the hair on my hand. It's like goosebumps galore. 20. That's it? Okay, 30. 20 is good. It's a spring. I'll do it right now. Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. That's a hardcore drugs. Good. It's not paying okay. off the mortgage, man. I swear. Oh, Oh, we're done for today. It's 3.15, we close at 7. Since I'm back on the phone, my brother has a thought about what's going on, okay? I'm very sorry, he cannot finish. I'm already finished. Okay, let me get you here, Baba. You should go home. Hi, Mercy. Hey, is everything okay? Like, on the news? Like what, huh? Well, no, there was just a lot of police and stuff on the road today. Well, that's true every day, isn't it? People out there need to get right with Jesus. Three nails plus one cross equals four given. Yeah. I was thinking we'd make some cookies. Chocolate chip? Raisin. I so love that we're getting to see so much more than what it was in the video game. And they're just enhancing the story and they're making more out of what we saw in the first few minutes of the game. And I love that. I love that. Oh, I love it. Sorry, that's just my love for it. Oh, she's twitching. Granny is twitching. Babes, you better get the hell out of there. <laughs> Granny is gone. <laughs> Granny is gone. Granny is going, my darling. You know what? My dad's going to be back real soon. I should go. You sure? Yeah. Well, you're taking some cookies. I didn't see what that was. I saw hardcore drugs. What, babe? You do. <laughs> which I stole from you. I could have stolen 60, but I put the change back because I'm an honest thief. Mm. Besides, it's the thought that counts. And you were never going to do it for yourself. So. Thank you. Part from the Adlers. Oh, this is one of the deleted scenes. Yeah. Imagine our bad. No, come on. Come on, come on pop it in. Let's do your birthday. God, is that my part too? Joel and Ellie were gonna watch the movie. Don't fall asleep. Of course I won't. It's too riveting. Joel, it's me. 
Yeah. But I'm in jail. What's my fault this time? I was at the bar. Some guy goes crazy, starts swinging at a waitress. I stepped in, knocked him out. Cops show up. Look, it doesn't fucking matter. You gotta bail me out. Now. It's Friday. You don't get me out tonight. I'm in here all weekend. It's a fucking madhouse, Joe. I gotta get out. Which jail? Travis County. He sounds so much like Toby. It's unreal. If you say goodnight, baby girl, I might actually lose my mind. Dad? If a dog, if the, if... Indoors, <laughs> law enforcement and emergency services are in the area and will be in contact with further instructions. <laughs> oh my God, so true to the freaking game. Yes, naughty dog. What are you doing out here, boy? Mercy go. Not worth it. Oh my god. Mrs. Adler? Mrs. Adler is gone, babes. You better understand what's happening. Mrs. Adler? How is this girl supposed to help you there? Listen to me. It's not just the Adlers. But we're gonna be brave and we're gonna get out of this. Hey, let's go, come on. Get in. Oh. Oh. Denise is gone. Parasite. Are we sick? No, of course not. Why do things blow up? No cell phone, no radio. You know, the go newsman once showed up. How do you know? What? How do you know we're not sick? You're saying it's most of the people in the city. Louis is fun! It's Jimmy's place. Yes! You know it's Naughty Dog! Oh my god, Naughty Dog! Yes! Keep it going! Oh. Keep driving. We'll back. I'm sorry. I'm really fan girly. I'm so sorry. Fuck! Everybody had the same fucking idea. Yes, they did! I can't get through this. Alright, alright, alright. Let's think it through. I'll think it through. Fuck! Alright, take the field. We'll cut across and we'll pick up on the, on the west side. Yeah, 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 yeah. West, west, alright. Alright, hang on. Fucking hard. Isn't that good? It's good for them. That's the highway we're trying to get to. Alright, keep going. Head north. Could be a lot of people. We can't go south, we can't go east, we can't go west. How else are we supposed to go? Tommy, come on! I don't know. Mexico, just far. As far as we can. How much gas? Three quarter time. We go through town. We go, of course, by the river, straight across. We pick up the highway on the other side of the blockade. And then we're out. I love this extra dialogue because this shows how truly fucking fat scary it is. I'm 
because it's so freaking accurate so far and I love it. Alright, keep going, keep going. Oh, oh! No, not yet. I can't drive through. Are you serious? Just keep going. Right. Oh my god! This was phenomenal. Wow, wow, wow. Shit, I, I, I can't, I can't bear to watch this scene. Tom, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Come here, come here. I got you. I got you. Are you okay? Are you okay? My ankle. We gotta get off the shit! Shit! Oh! Yo, you're kidding! I can't leave him. You'll be fine. Can you run? No. Keep your eyes on me. Okay? okay. You don't look anywhere else. Sick. Uncle Tommy. I'm gonna get you somewhere safe first. Don't go back for him, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, Ricky. Hey, no one told you to move. Yes, sir. We're not sick. Sir, we are not sick! Please don't. You're okay. You're okay. Move your hand, baby. Move your hand. <laughs> oh. I know, baby. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it hurts. I know, I know, I know, I know, baby. I know, I know. I know this hurts. You're gonna be okay. All right. Baby. Baby. Baby, listen to me. I gotta get you up. Okay? I gotta get you up. All right? Come on. You come on. I know, baby. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. I gotta get you up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is this the Fedra gate? What is this? Fedra or Fireflies? Fedra, I think. I can't see. That looks Fedra with the light. <laughs> Fedra, yeah. I cannot believe how freaking amazing this looks. What's your name? 
How did you get this? It's gonna be a little tickle right here. We're gonna find you your favorite food to eat. Oh shit. Would you like that? This kid is infected. And then we'll get you some new clothes and toys. As many as you want to play with. It's okay. You're safe. This is too much emotions. Oh, even the setup, like the the gray and the yeah. red building. Mm. Oh! You got anything else? Nothing today. Tomorrow we got street sweeping or swim maintenance. Which pays more? That'd be the one with the shit. down there in the QZ. Supposedly only makes two things. Pills and bullets. Bullets and pills. The more you shoot people, the harder it is to sleep, I guess. Yes, my smuggler, yes. Mm. <laughs> so I have to get one last guy in the depot to buy in. Okay, how much? Four of them on that shift, plus me. 600 total. I'll stay off the streets for the next few nights. Fucking fireflies been blowing shit up all week. Two of our guys got shot this morning. Bosses got us working doubles. Guys are jumpy and tired. It's easy to make a mistake in the dark. Stay safe. Yeah, you too. Believe, I'll finish that sentence. Believe in the fireflies. There you go. Is this Robert? What do you want me to say, Tess? Oh, yes, Tess, let's go! It's not like I planned on ripping you off. I'm sorry. Well? How about we just let it go? What do you want? I want you to forget this ever happened. Don't. Don't do that. What? It's just a truck battery. Paid you for it, you sold it to someone else, and you spend my money. I mean, you think I've never done shit like that? My guys fucked you up. Yeah, so discipline them. You cut off her finger or whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. They're your fucking guys. What about your guy? Because when he sees you, I mean, put yourself in my shoes. The key answers to me. So I give you my word that he won't hurt you. I'll tell him that I got jumped by some guys, and then you and I can just move the fuck on. Oh, red flag! Yeah. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Tess survives this! Oh wow. Love it already. 
count slowly and clearly from one to ten. One, two, three, four. Slowly and clearly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fuck you. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! State your name slowly. Veronica. Same as yesterday. Hey, people are gonna come looking for me. People from Fedra, you hear me? Let me out or you're gonna pay, motherfuckers! I'm not supposed to be here! Oh, if you knew what happens in your future events there, babes. I'm gonna call her Ellie Mormon there, babes. Ellie. Daddy is a state of mind. Hey, there's a line. Tell that it's a girl. That would be good. Right? You wanted a granddaughter. Is there any chance it's coming in at night? You're sleeping, you miss it? If Tommy responded, we'd know. And you're talking to the tower? Every day. They gave him your message. They haven't seen or heard from him since. That's it. It hasn't been that long. It's been three weeks. It's never taken more than a day to respond. I'm sure he's okay. No, it's in Wyoming. You're a capable guy, oh, but you there best are worse believe. things than infected out there. I hear everything on this. There are raiders. There are slavers. Are you sure Tommy's okay? So he's in touch with Tommy in the game. Well, it's not really clear, but he's ne not had any chat with Tommy at all. Music, play. Yes, play it. Louder. the game right after this that's how badly i really want to play yes joel get your mode activated oh well i guess yes play with my feels it's not like you've not done it already daddy is a state of mind sleep on it explored Tess and Joel's love story. It's always assumed that they had a thing for each other. There's even been dialogue exchanged between them in the gameplay, but not really focused on it. And I love that they're gonna really broaden their story out. Like there's this one dialogue which she says, is like, I like watching it work. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, okay, Tess, thanks. I got jumped by a couple guys. What guys? Just a couple teenagers. Said some shit. Probably shouldn't have. Come on, you know these guys born after the outbreak? Never learned how to argue to start swinging? I was in federal lockup all day. What I happened? I need you to take a breath. What? Joe. What? The guys who jumped me were with Robert. I need the battery, Tess. I'm sure it's no good without one, and if I don't get to Tommy soon, he's gonna die out there. Okay, fuck it. We get our money back and the battery of it, Joel. Listen, Robert is terrified of you. So you march out of here, I'll clean Eastwood. He's gonna get wind of it and skip. I need you to take... Stop place. it. Stop it. You use we Joel and Clint Eastwood together. No. Well, where is he? No, I promised Robert that you wouldn't hurt him. But I would very much like for you to hurt him. Okay, this... So let's go hunt that motherfucker down. Yes, babe! And get our battery and our truck. And then we'll go find Tommy. Yes, babe. Hail the, the, the queen because she's literally Marlene from the game and Marlene in the show. Everyone shut up and listen to her. I held them back. I have some questions. Hmm. It's the yeah. outfit exactly the same. I We've can't. been blowing up. What's the point of this? Is that your question? That's one of them. My answer is to follow fucking orders. And why do you have some random girl locked in a room? And the guys you have guarding her won't tell me shit? I 
people are asking what's going on and I Babe, do you know she's queen firefly shut up and listen to her we are in a war against a military dictatorship to restore democracy and freedom to the sound of our right yes are we winning are we beating fedra here are the fireflies beating fedra anywhere rebellion takes time you fight for 20 years and you get nowhere you're not a rebel I want them as distracted as possible because tonight every firefly in Boston is going to gather in this building and they're going to leave the QZ permanently. We're quitting? No, we're taking that random girl locked in that room west. From our guy in the radio tower in Salem. Is this real? I believe it is. Keep it quiet. Whatever it takes. We'll get her where she needs to go. Oh, yes! So sexy, it's insane. Who are you? Don't worry, I don't want anything. Okay. But if you're feeling lost, oh. you want me to look for the light and I'll break your door. <laughs> State of mind, yes! <laughs> what was the purpose of your talk there, babes? Conversation? Supposedly taking the battery to a red tagged building. Forget this. The corner of Stillman and Cross. I mean, we can take the subway tunnel under Haymarket, get into the building from below, and take Robert by surprise. Oh. And she's wearing the same shirt as Uncharted 3 Nathan Drake. Uh huh. I just cannot. I just cannot. The bag! The bag! The bag! Oh, the bag! The bag, the key ring, the then knife. Lock me. How about we start with thank you? For what? For saving your life? I am the one who told him not to shoot you, if you recall. Mm. Is it gonna happen? No. So can I go? No. I won't tell anyone about any of this. I swear. Where are you gonna go? Back to Federal Military School? You that anxious to be a soldier? You think I chose that place? It's for orphans. They didn't put you there. I did. Ellie. You're my fucking mom or something? <laughs> yeah, <you're laughs> no, you're not. Why would a terrorist dump me with Fedra? Because it's where you'd be safest, and you were safe there until you decided to sneak out. A terrorist? Was Riley a terrorist? Why won't you let me go? Because you have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined. So we're leaving tonight, and we're taking you with us. What I'm about to tell you cannot be repeated to anyone. Because if you do, I assure you, you will die. Oh, the biggest news of all! You're immune there, Ellie. Oh, the freaking flashlight. Androna, come here. I shall shake you. <laughs> You and your flat your flashlights never work. Can't shake it. Oh my god, I just I'm sorry, I'm fucking fangirling right now because I cannot believe this is even a thing, this show. Oh shit! Oh shit. This one's done. Yes, but it's through tendrils yeah. now. I know, I just I wasn't expecting it. Think he wasn't down here last time? You think he came down after he was infected? Well, maybe down here is where he was infected. Do you guys still wear gas masks? As key. Masks. Because that's the way they say it. No offense, Americans. Masks. Everyone was cutting down on apartment sizes to sell more condos. Oh, this has been construction corner with Joel Miller. How far are we going? Uh this far nice view there babes this smell that i don't know what you're smelling yeah come powder whoa whoa that's blood what the frick uh okay robert you didn't die in our hands i would have lo loved to have seen tess mess you up but that's fine that the battery is no good he still tried to sell it. Twice. You greedy fuck. I 
Isn't this, isn't this Marlene's crew? Oh! Oh, shit! Joel? Marlene? So this is who Robert screwed us over with? The Che Guevara of Boston? <laughs> Everyone must be going pretty shitty for you to be buying from scumbags like him. Yeah, it kind of has been. The merch was bad, and he obviously didn't take fuck off for an answer. Give me my knife. What do you need a car battery for? Don't. Not at her. Pointing at me. I want to not do that there, Joel. I love you, though. It's our business to know things. To know things. You're the cause of it. You turned my own brother against me. Okay, Joe. That was a lot of gunfire. Fed was going to be on the way. Yeah. We were going to move Ellie out of the zone tonight. What's that sign? We won't make it anywhere like this. Not for a while, anyway. You're going to do it. I'm not going with them. Let me take her. Please. We don't have time for this. Oh, you don't have time? Who is she? To you? She's cargo. We don't smuggle people. Sorry. I can do it. Kim, you don't have a fucking ear on your fucking head. Could you please? Oh, God! The fireflies waiting for her at the old state house. I know what's out there. We were going with an entire squadron for that very reason. But now I don't have a truck. I don't have a squadron. Fedra's five minutes away. What I do have is you. And I know what you're both capable of. For better or worse. What is he capable of? You get her there safely. And they'll give you what you need. Not just a battery. The whole thing. Fueled up truck. Guns. Supplies. All of it. I swear. Tess, are you going to check it out? She seems desperate. Firefly vehicle usually means repurpose Fedra stuff. So better than decent chance making it to Tommy in one of those. The second we hand that kid over. Y'all talk it through, but please remember that I'm bleeding out. Yo, what's it going to be, that Jewel? We'll get her to your crew at the state house. But before we hand her over, they give us everything that we want. If not, we kill her. There and then. Deal. Really? Not fast. <laughs> you are all that matters. My team will not jeopardize that. Let's go. <laughs> Joel. Don't fuck this up. Please. Oh, Marlene. You're in the rain. I don't know what it's like in this game in terms of Ellie's perspective. Like, has she been outside? Like... What was her life like? Like, I, I want to know so much more because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be almost exactly the same, but it's going to stay true to the story. Give us a minute, all right? What the fuck? <laughs> What's the plan? Mm, there's not a lot of options. There's the short way or the long way. Sixty nothing and seventeen up. What something in? I didn't get that. BF. So who's Bill and Frank? Oh whoa. Whoa! What? The radio's a smuggling code, right? Sixties song. They don't have anything new. Seventies. They got new stuff. What's eighties? Oh my God! I, I she cracked it better than I could. What are you doing? Killing time. Killing time. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll figure that out. Your watch is broken. Your watch is broken. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, Joel. You mumble in your sleep. I've never been on the other side of the wall. Look how dark it is. You guys go out there a lot? I guess. When was the last time? Maybe a year. What's it matter? But you know where to go. So we're gonna be okay. Because she knows what's at stake. So what's the deal with you anyway? You some kind of bigwig's daughter or something? <laughs> something like that. Thanks, Naughty Dog, for keeping the lines. For the keeping the well, the radio came on when you were sleeping. What was the song? I kept saying, like, like wake me up before you go-go. <laughs> Shit. Gotcha. 80s means trouble. Code broken. Oh? My God! Listen, the spot on your Lancaster looks good. You got a jacket in your pack? Yeah. Okay, get it. It's time to go. Know what that light means? I'll stay away from the light, the babes. <laughs> oh, light means trouble. Wait. 
you need to be stealthy about this. See, in such situations, I'm great because I'm all about stealth in gameplay. Oh, the jacket. 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 Holy shit, I'm actually outside. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, we're gonna take the left edge around the buffer zone. You stay close and you follow my lead. actually might cry at the end of this episode because of how like oh man I love this game so much and it's so true. Is it that your guy there? Joel? Yes. Yes, it's us. Start this out. Turn around. Get on your fucking knees. Get on your fucking knees. Hold on. What I fucking tell you, man? I said stay the fuck home. Get on your knees. Just get on your knees. Just get on your knees. Hands on your head. Eyes forward. Hands on your head. Unauthorized exit. We're hanging for that. Fine. Everything off of this run. And half off on all of the pills. Half off? All off. Risk my job for half off. Out of your fucking mind. Hey! Hey! Fucking bitch! Get out of the fucking way! Whoa! We can fix this! Oh my god! Deja vu! Deja vu! Deja vu! Deja vu! No, 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 no! Deja vu! Deja vu! Deja vu! I'm going to be like this the entire show, best believe, because this literally, it makes me so giddy to see that they have used lit everything from almost the game. And when I say that, I mean Sarah's shirt that she wears. She wears exactly the same purple with the same print, exactly the same. The dog, when um, when every the shit is going down, the dog that scares uh, Sarah, Mercy, um, that bangs on the window, exactly the same. The dialogues, I cannot even get, wherever I get excited, it means the dialogue is right. So uh, the dialogue, absolutely phenomenal, staying true to the first section of the game. And then with regards to how Joel acts, with regards to how Tommy is, Tommy, I'm not even kidding. Even if I, this guy who's playing Tommy, I can't remember his name, I'm sorry, but um, I know he was um, Ghost Rider. Um, his voice is seriously so, so much like the gameplay. Like I genuinely, not the gameplay, like the actual actor. Like I genuinely thought that it was the real Tommy. And by real Tommy, I forgot his name also. I don't know why. Uh, I can't remember his name. I'm sorry. I'm very bad with names. Uh, that's one unfortunate thing of mine. But 
when it comes to like the voice dialect the voice tone it was literally tommy hands down and the posters the watch then when when uh, sarah takes that dvd it was curtis and the viper 2 2 like this is an 80s cheesy movie that in last of us part 2 ellie was going to play i mean sorry ellie was going to play ellie was going to watch with joel of course no spoiler alert in this but there is one dialogue with dina another character that um she was going to watch this particular movie and she was explaining what the movie was about and she the, the movie basically was Curtis and the Viper 2 and there is another scene in further down in the game where there is a poster where they end up in the theater and there's a poster against spoilers if you've not played the game I mean by now if you're watching the show you might expect some spoilers so I'm sorry um there is a poster in the game um, of Curtis and the Viper 2 and Ellie tells there as well, hey, look, Joel, it's your favorite. Like all these little things is so outstanding. And even when we see Ellie for the first time, her, you know, acting the way she did, like Bella Ramsey acting the way she did, she might not look Ellie. She might not sound like Ellie. She might not have the features of Ellie. But god damn is she literally on mirroring the character Ellie. Like it's an adaptation and I cannot believe how well done these characters are. Like the main characters, you know, Tess, um, Robert. Even Robert does not look like, for that matter, if we're going to go with character looks, Jerome Flynn should have played Robert. But robert had a bun like that small little details in the game and here this robert has a bun it's so like i was able to un identify like things like this for like a, a video gamer or someone that loves the last of us it's so amazing to see all these things still staying true to the to the game but at the same time it's an adaptation so it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be exactly like the gameplay because if we explore a gameplay version of the show i mean of the of uh of uh, the last of us it we might as well play the damn thing rather than watching the show so i love the fact that they're exploring different ideas so like where you see um sarah when she's in school you see the mirror and you know she like there is almost this guy who's starting to twitch a bit that is like a sign to the apocalypse and then you see her uh, communicating with uh, the Adlers and the grandma and, you know, the way that the guy is like, help me. And they immediately turned like completely fast. And that's what I love, like the way they've explored that world and what has happened. And it's not straight as what it was in the game. So really phenomenal in that aspect. And with regards to the, the main thing that I truly loved from start to finish was when everything went down. Like, I cannot tell you how, how well done that scene is because that's literally word for word, frame by frame, and absolutely the same as what it was in the game. And that is even the camera angle was literally from Sarah's perspective, from Tommy's perspective, from Joel's perspective. When you're playing as, when you're playing as the characters in the in the car, in the truck, you see like Sarah looking around, like the world is crumbling, but you see it from these three people's perspectives, and you can tell like the tension is high. And with regards to, you know, the guys coming, of course in in the actual game planes weren't falling down um in um you know downtown but you know when the two police cars came through and then these uh tommy took a right that's exactly like the game then um of course the detour to go west that's exactly like the game um north south east west so wherever they these guys went they went through the the field that's exactly the same and when they reach downtown where you see everyone are running and you know infected everywhere like it's spreading like wildfire 
and then they go through an alley but then you know it's separated by tommy and um the tommy is separated with joel and sarah and then events later on and when sarah is you know in joel's arms and the guy just raises his from fedra the guy raises his um his rifle and is given orders by the general or the commander whomever he was speaking to um to kill them and then you see tommy kill right after once he once he shoots them and you even if you see in that even not just in the gameplay but even here also mainly in the gameplay um you go you, when you see the soldier when he shoots he knows that in that moment his aim was almost as if it was at sarah because he knows that she cannot survive this like it's better that she's dead almost like that's the sort of message and it caught like people i remember had a problem with how is it that sarah got shot instead of joel when he turned around but the thing is the bullet hit sarah first beforehand and while she was i guess mid air it hit her but when the when the soldier comes the soldier goes straight to joel not to sarah because he knows sarah is done for that's how detailed this game is i mean and at least this episode is and it's so wonderful because he does not even have to check on the little girl everyone's instinct would be is the girl okay is the child okay like a young girl doesn't care because that girl is down for and the dialogue the interaction between them two oh my god till this date i don't think i've ever witnessed a more excruciating intro to a story as i have with the last of us and that just goes to show how much i love that bit even excruciating yes but it's wonderful because i know i know that emotions are raw emotions oh my god it was phenomenal i i would only think that it's an honor for pedro pascal and bella ramsey to have troy baker and ashley johnson in the show because they are the og like og for sure like they are joel and ellie but these guys are doing such a phenomenal job at portraying joel and ellie that they are literally same level of course there are more episodes to go and yada yada and people might think that oh i'm just jumping to conclusions just the first episode no i'm not kidding as a big fan of the games who always wants to make sure like that's one of the reasons why i was not a big fan of uncharted um only because of the way like the storyline was its storyline was almost true yes but it was not as up it didn't live up to the hype of you know oh god it's like holy shit potential so that's one of the reasons why this show means a lot more in terms of explaining the story behind what unfolds i'm talking and talking but this is this is how much i love the damn thing and marlene being in this game i think it's just outstanding and it's a true honor to witness her playing her, herself first in the video games i pretty sure she must be proud herself to see that she was in a video game that may or may not have like you know been successful but then it did and then for her to come back in in HBO's Last of Us TV show like that is absolutely insane like that's a big big achievement in their careers so i'm really happy that they are able to like really stay so close to the storyline and you know that entire trying to avoid the fedra light and the tunnels and you know um the um infection bed then your watch is broken and like shit like this this i i can go on and on and on but it'll just keep running and it, i just feel like people will just get very annoyed at me talking but nevertheless i i loved it as um as a person that really holds this game dear to the heart this was a fantastic start to the series and i cannot wait to see what is there in store and it's 
something that I've been very much looking forward to. That's that, I think that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to watch the trailer, only because I didn't want to... I, I wanted to see how it looked, even though I did do the teaser trailer, but that was like in that insta instantaneous moment. Um, I really wanted to make up my mind with how it, you know, how the show rolled. And it's already a freaking 10 out of 10 for me with, and the last shot, like freak me, like this, exactly like the game yes that can be all sorts of effects this and that but they stay true to the game the building on top of another building the clicker over there the you know nature taking over like everything is cr like completely cr crumbled and cars are dashed here and there and there's rust and there is rain and there is clicker sound and oh my god like everything was so exact to the t come on like yes I just this just makes me want to play the game for the infinite time so uh you best believe I have played the last verse one and two a gajillion times gajillion times yes that's yeah so there we go episode one <sighs> I loved it but there, I'm excited to see episode two, even though it's a one week wait, I it's worth the wait to me. It's worth every second that it takes to make it. And I'm very excited to see how it unfolds the entire story, because I assume that this is the entirety of the first game. So, wow, like I, I'm very happy to see that they are going to explore areas that they haven't in the gameplay and show that here for example like Tess and Joel's relationship which is very exciting so there we go the biggest fan one of the biggest fans in the world for this show has enjoyed 10 out of 10 daddy is a state of mind